Former LMPD Detective Brett Hankison is expected to take the stand today in his federal retrial. He's accused of violating Breonna Taylor's civil rights the night he shot into her apartment during a 2020 police raid. This will be the third time Hankison has testified in his own defense. In prior testimonies, he's gotten emotional on the stand and apologized to the Taylor family. Both of those trials ended in his favor. A jury acquitted him of state charges, then a hung jury led to a mistrial in his first federal trial. Breonna Taylor's family members say they're still waiting for accountability. The case is expected to go to the jury at some point this week. The man accused of running from police inside a Walmart and then attempting to carjack a woman outside will appear in circuit court today. Police say back in August, Randall Allen was in a car chase with Kentucky State Police when it ended in a crash on the outer loop. Allen, according to police, then ran inside the Walmart where police followed. Security video shows Allen then jump into the car of a woman in line at the Walmart pharmacy window. Prosecutors argue Allen was attempting to carjack the woman, while his defense argues he did not intend to steal her car, just use it as a getaway. Allen is facing several charges, including robbery, unlawful imprisonment, and evading police. He's due in court at 2. The woman charged in a deadly crash in Bullitt County will face a judge today. According to police, 31-year-old Dawn Middleton killed an elderly couple when she crashed into them in June, just south of the Gene Snyder Freeway. The crash happened at the intersection of Old Preston Highway and Preston Highway. Police say nearby surveillance video shows Middleton blowing through the traffic light and colliding with the couple's car. They also say she confessed to using substances before the crash on a jail phone call to her husband. Middleton's charges include murder and operating a car under the influence of a controlled substance. Court starts at 9 o'clock this morning. Two people are being detained in connection to the triple shooting at the Harvest Homecoming Festival that killed 18-year-old Bryce Gerlock. New Albany police say they made six raids yesterday morning. Those raids were focused on finding evidence related to the case. New Albany police say they worked with Jeffersonville Police, the LMPD, and the ATF to search four homes in New Albany, one in Jeffersonville, and one in Louisville. Right now, it's not clear if the two people being detained will face any charges. Police say they also recovered several guns. A New Albany man is dead after what police are calling a confrontation. Indiana State Police say just after 5 Saturday, a man walked up to another man with a steel sword, which was two feet long. WHS 11's Alexandra Goldberg and photojournalist Aspen Hester pick it up from there. It's hard to um feel safe on a day-to-day -day basis when things like this keep happening. Um, and it's not just here, it's everywhere. New Albany resident Gracie Kane says she's feeling on edge with multiple violent incidents happening in her riverfront town. On Saturday evening, police say 68-year-old Kevin Campbell shot 41-year-old Christopher Proctor in the chest after Campbell heard a knock on his bedroom window and was met with Proctor at his door who police say was approaching him with a steel sword. They did know each other. He had been in the home before. He had things, personal belongings inside the home. Police say this is the residence where the incident occurred. Police say the confrontation happened at the front door and the gunshot victim was laying in this yard for nearly two hours before police were called on scene. The bigger issue we have is that Mr. Campbell waited almost two hours before contacting law enforcement. He was charged with obstruction of justice, a felony. This happened just hours before the community found out about a development in the Harvest homecoming shooting that killed one teenage boy and injured two others. Two people were detained in an operation Sunday morning. I am a little bit hesitant to speak before convictions actually happen, um, but at the same time, it does make me feel a little bit safer knowing that the police around here are looking out for for us. Now, the community waiting for answers as the investigations continue. In New Albany, Alexandra Goldberg, WHIS 11, on your side. According to Indiana State Police, since the men were acquaintances, the crime is not necessarily being classified as a home invasion. ISP doesn't know if Campbell will face additional charges, but said he was arrested for obstruction of justice because he waited to call police. Campbell is currently booked at the Floyd County Jail. Kentucky will hold a lottery today to determine who gets a license to sell, process, or grow medical marijuana. The Kentucky Office of Medical Cannabis says it received nearly 5,000 medical cannabis business licenses during the application period this year. 918 of those were for cultivators and processors. 14 licenses will be randomly given out today. 
Two cultivator and processor licenses will be randomly given out also. That drawing is set for 2 p.m. Indiana's Department of Transportation is making Indiana 265 an interstate today. The road stretches from north of Jeffersonville to the Lewis and Clark Bridge and then over the Ohio River. NDOT says the change will create a more functional roadway system. The department says it also plans to start an improvement project today to add new guardrails and to repaint signs. That work's expected to wrap up in the fall of 2026.